Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Jen and this is Fundy Fridays and usually on my channel we talk about different aspects of Christian fundamentalism, how it intersects with white supremacy, American pop culture, but today we're doing something really stupid because I'm out of town so I need to record an easy video and what better way to do that than to make a tier list which are all the rage on the internet I hear. And before we begin, no you do not have to adjust your television sets i am a beautiful blonde right now um i don't know who is she i've never met this one what is this um this is a completely new era and lifestyle choice for me i'm just giving you guys shit uh, i don't know how long i'm gonna be blonde I plan on dying at purple or pink. I don't know which. Here pretty soon and I was just letting my hair rest and I actually liked how it looked. So I was like, let me, let me rock the blonde for an episode. Let's see how you guys like it. Uh, tier lists, you may have seen them all over the internet. They don't go in the order that I would necessarily organize them in. For example, in the tier list that I've been seeing, red is good and green is bad. So when I filled this tier out, I actually messed up the order. Let me fix it. Right? That doesn't make sense to me. Why would the red be good? And I also did eliminate one of the categories that I had decided on because I was like, I don't have anything that would fit in that category. Second, I tried making a tier list on like tierlistmaker.com or whatever, and it kept timing out. Um, so I did end up using Canva and I shrank all the pictures down um, to the point where some of them look like pixel art and it's actually kind of cool. Um, and I will throw up the real correct sized photo on the screen whenever I'm referring to the thing. Today, I would like to have a little fun and do something silly with you guys and I'm going to be ranking Fundy Scandals. Keep in mind, this does not include every Fundy Scandal. I don't know how I would even do that. Um, and just because I rank certain things in any certain order does not mean that your opinion is invalid. Okay, if you think something is worse than the other, that's okay. Without further ado, let's have some fun and rank some Fundy Scandals. These are in no particular order. In fact, they kind of got randomized after I like um, saved all the pictures and then re-uploaded them, cropped them, did all that stuff. So I think that will add a layer of mystery to the project all right so this is just in order of how i have them down here in my little my little holding cell down here my jail for them let me explain the categories um so the least um horrible tier is would be funny in another context i think that one's kind of self-explanatory if this person wasn't wasn't funny maybe we could laugh at it in a little bit different of a way number two would be you played yourself now that i think about it that is kind of very similar to the first tier but you know what this is a game of nitpicking so we are going to do that number three moderate to severe and that would be a uh, reference to jill rodriguez but also um, a little bit lower than the worst tier and then the worst tier is right to jail and that is if you do something that i and the rest of the world deem despicable i can give you one guess as to who's going to end up in that category first up we got jill at the funeral of children who died in a fire i'm also going to include the funeral for her sister's legs in this icon i just think that we'd be here all day if i had to list every single bad thing that jill ever did that involved a funeral so this one i would call moderate to severe there's a reason why that category is named after her. Next up, we have Chris Pratt and his associations with Hillsong. He's since tried to distance himself from the church because of all the controversies that are surrounding it. I don't buy it for a second. Yeah, and he also had beef with Elliot Page, and I just don't like the guy. But he didn't do anything too terrible, I don't think, so I'm just going to call that one you played yourself because ultimately who loses out it's chris pratt okay didn't he get kicked out of jurassic park or something or star wars what movie was he in <laughs> kim plath and barry plath getting a divorce um there's nothing wrong with getting divorced and i think this is kind of funny because of how much they preach about purity and complain about other people's relationships i will call this one would be funny in another context. Lawson Bates at January 6th. <laughs> Who had that one on the bingo card? Um, Disclaimer, he wasn't at the Capitol riots. 
allegedly, but he was at the other protests. So that's pretty bad. And also his brother was there. Seeing as how he tried to take my channel down due to a bogus copyright claim. And I think he's a little bitch. I'm going to go ahead and say right to jail. How about this one? I'm sure you're confused. This is Mrs. Midwest's new hairstyle. There's nothing morally wrong with that. I'm just, I just think it's a little eclectic for her. I'm going to go ahead and say would be funny in another context. Aaron Payne Bates having a Bill Gothard birthday cake at her wedding. Don't kill me. I think it would be funny in another context. <laughs> Just because who the fuck has an Oreo birthday cake for a alleged abuser, old, friendless virgin? That's hilarious. Josh Duggar's stint on Ashley Madison and the subsequent fallout of that was really funny. Knowing that they named their latest daughter Madison um, really shows that they have learned nothing and that they're not even trying and it sounds like they played themselves you can't tell what this is this is the most blurry crappy picture i've ever seen um because it got compressed so you can't tell what this rectangle is it's supposed to be a cuneiform tablet and this represents the tablets that hobby lobby stole and then tried to put in their museum and that is highly illegal i don't think that it deserves to go in the right to jail category because I'm saving that category for the most severe. Okay. So I'm going to say that it goes in moderate to severe. Do I sound like an imperialist? Fuck. I'm going to put it in right to jail. Sister Cindy, just her whole vibe is to slut shame and harass young people at college campuses, but they're kind of into it. They think she's camp because, like, she makes up little rap songs and she calls people hoes and thoughts and, like, sings WAP. If somebody needs to play her on Snatch Game. Like, she is a hoot and a half, but she is a bigot. And also, her husband just died. R.I.P. Brother Jed. So, I don't know how to rank this one. Um, would be funny in another context. I just can't put her in one of the severe categories knowing that her soulmate died. I have a soft spot for Sister Cindy. Okay, you can't see it. It's so tiny. I will put the real version on the screen. This is a picture where they combined every time that Lauren Duggar copied off of Josie Bates on Instagram, and it's really funny. Um, that one, yeah, would be funny in another context. Because, um, like, I love funny drama and that is so stupid i used to think that maybe people were exaggerating but looking at this photograph i think that she's copying off of her okay you were, you were wondering here in the corner what this is this is a representation of morgan olegas giving away her beloved first child her white crusty dog squishy and they recently got rid of this dog because um they couldn't handle the responsibility of the dog and the baby um so they got rid of it and it was really sad but you know what maybe he'll have a better home i'm gonna say you played yourself ultimately the dog will have a better life but it's still sad that she had to get rid of it um well she didn't have to you know what i mean but this is her own doing this is because of the choices that she made jerry falwell senior just in general Founded the moral majority. He said all kinds of horribly offensive things like 9-11 was caused by abortionists, was extremely homophobic, racist, and he founded Liberty University, which plagues us to this day. So that is by no means the full picture on this guy, but he is pretty evil. I'm going to say moderate to severe because he didn't assault anybody that I know of. So we're going to leave that category open. Just... Tim Cell as a concept. Timmy Rodriguez. I combine my favorite photos of him with weapons here to represent his new villain era. He's certainly not jail time yet, in my opinion. And I don't think it's funny. But he hasn't done anything yet. He just has an abrasive personality. So I'm going to say you played yourself. Because perhaps Timmy's worst punishment for his behavior is that he has to be single forever and his only friend is his mom the next one jim bob duggar's associations with bill gothard i think not right to jail because it's not illegal to have shitty friends but because of the influence of 
the Duggars on Bill Gothard and popular the Duggars were and how they started, you know, a TV empire that all these different spinoffs and helped the the movement of fundamentalism. Um, I think that it had a very lasting impact. So I think that that would be moderate to severe. Ted Haggard getting caught cheating on his wife with a male sex worker and also like having a meth problem seeing as how he preached homophobic ideas and he was this big mega preacher and he had like a huge downfall um and he was a big asshole i'm gonna say you played yourself nobody put that meth pipe in your hands buddy the next one is girl defined versus drag queens and i mean on its face hilarious tons of my favorite creators talking about this exact video they read them the riot act it's hilarious. Girl Defined are homophobic assholes. And also their sister dressed up as a male Lord of the Rings character for Halloween. So let's talk about that. Just seeing as how these broads are just so horrible for society. And I'm extremely bitter that I didn't get to make a video with Trixie Mattel about it. I'm going to try to grade this on a severe curve. So hmm, what do I think? Would be funny in another context. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I just... The amount of hilarious content that came out of the backlash of these two and their bigotry, to me, that's funny. I'm sorry. Fight me. Speaking of Girl Defined, we have Girl Defined glorifying their Nazi ancestors. Now that, there's nothing funny about. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say moderate to severe. I will give them a little bit of leeway here because... It's not like they did, like, the Nazi salute or anything. They just posed in front of... No, that's pretty bad. I think I'm going to consider everything Girl Defined's ever done when I make this ranking because I don't have any other Girl Defined entries for this tier list and they need to pay for their crimes. So I'm going to say right to jail. I changed my mind. This up here is the... KKK wall at the Bates house right to jail um I'm not gonna tolerate racism in my tier list Kim Plath arrested for a DUI now while I am tempted to rank that one in would be funny in another context it's never funny to get behind the wheel of a car while you are intoxicated she could have killed somebody and then we would be having a whole other conversation so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say moderate to severe because I think maybe it's a cry for help and I would, I just really want to save this tier open for Josh. Okay. Does that make me a hypocrite? I just gave that whole speech about drunk driving. If I'm going to put the, the Hobby Lobby tablets in right to jail, then I need to put Kim Plath in right to jail. Let me phone a friend. James. So I put Hobby Lobby and the cuneiform tablets in right to jail because it is really fucked up and illegal mm -hmm. and I wanted to respect the the cultures that had their shit robbed. Sure. But I feel like maybe it should be in moderate to severe instead. I have Kim Plath DUI in moderate and I'm wondering if that should be right to jail or if I should move them. Does it cheapen it? Because I'm going to put I'm going to put Josh Duggar in, in this one. I almost feel like you could put the Hobby Lobby tablets in... Mm you played yourself and here's my argument for that they legitimately played themselves by trying to pass that like they tried to argue that it was like home decorations yeah they played and they themselves. didn't they get sued by the government yeah and they tried to ship them in boxes of like these are tile samples okay that it's that's the, a little better perspective on it it's the worst most bungling mafia smuggling scheme I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so what do you think about Kim Plath then? Moderate to severe. She's on a dark path. But she didn't kill anybody yet. That last word. That last <laughs> word's very central. Think about, think about drunk driving is it's... Yeah, but I'm ranking Bethy and her Nazi grandpa is right to jail. What's well, Nazis. Nazis always go right to jail. Okay, thank you for putting the perspective in. That's what I'm here for. You've been a disembodied head the whole time. You were just your dick. That's what I'm here for. Okay, this little guy down here is the uh, shitty apology that Carlin Bates did about the George Floyd joke that her brothers tried to make during charades. And it was not a funny joke, and it was very racist, and it's indicative of a bigger racist society. And I don't think that's very funny. 
I'm going to say played yourself because not too long after that, the show got canceled. Now, I don't know if it was because of that or because of other factors, but they definitely got what was coming to them. So let's move that one over. Kent Hovind, um, he went to jail several times, the first time for tax evasion and the second time for domestic violence. He operated Dinosaur Adventureland in his backyard and a seven-year-old boy drowned in a pond on his property because there were no lifeguards, there were no safety precautions, um, and he said that the family had fun anyway and they were going to come back. I really hate this guy and I think that he has had a really horrible effect on society. So domestic violence is never okay. I'm going to put him in right to jail. You sick fuck. Jim Bob Duggar running for Senate. Always hilarious. He never wins. But I was a little bit scared last time that he was going to. He didn't because his son is a pedophile. So I'm going to say you played yourself. That one's kind of self-explanatory. I do have his son here also running and losing, but and he hasn't done anything. He's just also like a loser. So I'm going to say would be funny in another context because I also think it's funny to compare the two. Like, like you fucked up so badly that you're not even like on like a good tier in this tier list of already terrible people. Woo! Mrs. Midwest letting herself be reposted by Nazi Instagram pages, um, notably worth fighting for. Free speech is allowed, but it's Nazis. <sighs> she knows what she's doing, though. Like, her Reddit posts show that. I think she's right to jail. I'm sorry. I'm not tolerating racism on my tier list. Next. We're getting really close to the edge here. Um, Jill Rodriguez and the baby cage. I don't like child abuse. Right to jail with, with everyone, with all of you. Cody Brown, just kind of being a sexist, that would just be in moderate to severe. He got left by the best of his wives, which is funny. But he also starts fights with his kids, favors certain wives over others. Um, he didn't go to his daughter's surgery. Instead, he decided to go to a wedding, acted like an ass during COVID, like just, just being a complete buffoon and nobody likes him. And I used to think he was a, at least a tiny bit charming in the early seasons. Like he would crack dad jokes and like he had, you know, he had some hair, but like he hasn't done anything illegal, but he's not a good person. I don't think it's bad enough to be in severe. Let's do you played yourself because everybody's leaving him and everyone's making fun of him. The next one would be Jerry Falwell Jr. getting cucked by a pool boy who now wrote a tell-all book and is in a tell-all Hulu documentary called God Forbid, um, talking all about it. And that's crazy. There's lots of blackmail. There's political stuff. There's all kinds of things about evangelicals. Not going to put him in You Played Yourself because that's too simple. I want to put it in would be funny in another context because ultimately it's hilarious and Jerry Falwell Jr. got fired. But I don't want to imply that I want to make fun of people's sexual kinks. So let's do You Played Yourself because, I mean, they did play with themselves. Bill Johnson, leader of Bethel Redding. Just the fact that he spawned and released Sean Foyt onto the world is bad enough. Um, but he did try to get his congregation to pray and and uh, sing and try to resurrect a two-year-old girl. Um, that obviously didn't work, and it traumatized everyone, and it painted the church in a really bad light. But it is not illegal, but it is severe. That, I think, is pretty bad. So we're going to put that in the severe category. Um, Greg Locke. It's funny how much cream he drinks, but it's not funny that he's so ableist and um, bigoted. Though he's he associates with the Proud Boys, though. Didn't and he didn't he give a speech before Jan on January sixth? Hey, babe. Yeah. Would you put Greg Locke in jail or severe? I think part of Greg's shtick is offending the senses while not offending the law. He's very irritating. But that's not a crime. Book burning. Calling people witches. You witch! You stinking witch! See, this is why I wanted to leave space open in the you played yourself category. Because it's... Yes, Gwen Shamblin abused children, created an entire empire of eating disorder worship. But she died in a 
plane crash. So I'm, I want to put her in You Played Yourself, but I also don't want to discount or act like it's over because it's not. The legacy is still alive. Damn, this is hard. I guess people did get justice because the Smiths went to prison for killing their child and it was not proven that it had any correlation with Gwen and she's dead. I'm going to say severe. I want to leave the last round open for the worst of the worst. Okay, here we go. Obviously, Josh Duggar is the entire reason I made the right to jail category. Let's just put him in there where he belongs. Worst of the worst. So here we are left with the final one. I personally want to put Brittany Dawn shooting her dog in right to jail because I'd hate, I hate animal abuse. And her husband, ex-cop, beat a innocent man while he was on the clock. But she did scam a bunch of people, which is illegal, and she might be going to jail. But I don't know if I want to rank her up there with fucking Josh Duggar. Is Brittany Dawn killing her dog? Is that right to jail or severe? Right to jail. Right to jail. Okay. Don't screw with dogs. You don't fuck with dogs. Okay. There we go, guys. <laughs> Is this how you would have ranked things? Um, how do you feel about it? Uh... <laughs> I think I did pretty good. You know, maybe some other things I would have ranked a little worse, but hey, at the end of the day, we're all losers for playing this dumb game we call life. I should definitely keep doing these uh, because they're really fun and it's an easy episode to edit. So um, what do you guys think? Was this dumb? Did it make you laugh? Uh, do you think I ranked things inappropriately? Do you think something should have been higher or lower? Do you not know who any of these people are? If you don't, then watch my videos. You got some catching up to do because I'm pretty sure I've talked about all of these things um, at some point. I love you guys. I will see you soon. I think this is Thanksgiving Friday, so... Uh, be safe. And if you're going to uh, film a fight uh, at the store, um, remember to turn your phone sideways. Um, drink lots of water. Be good. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Uh, follow me on social media and subscribe to the Patreon and um, read a book. I will see you later.